spare ammunition, all the tools and maintenance of the uh, tractor and the gun. Underneath they have a winch in case they get stuck in the mud so they can pull themselves out or pull the gun out the situation. And they have about uh, 30 gallons of fuel on board. They're not armoured, so uh, if people start shooting at you, it's better than to leave the tractor behind. Behind is the two-wheel trailer, number 27, 32 complete rounds of ammunition, tool store, uh, and other maintenance equipment. And then the gun behind. And I'll explain about the gun as, as they come onto the platforms. They're coming round now. Top speed about 30 miles an hour. Convoy speed, normally 25. And in rough terrain, four-wheel drive, so they can get in and out of uh, very muddy or rocky situations or very slow climbs up hills. They're not very good at breaking fire, especially at a great distance of about five miles maximum fire. Gunners have to work efficiently around the gun, and each gunner has their own role. Number one is in charge, totally responsible for their own gun. Number two will be operating the breach mechanism, which is on the right hand side of the gun, which is from behind. Number three actually fires the gun and sits on the seat on the left. Number four and five deal with the ammunition from the trailer. And number six is the driver. Now the drivers are going off to make tea, I think, uh, and hopefully will come back. But uh, they need to dispose of their tractors back to the motor transport lines, out of danger. The limbers are being brought round now beside the guns. So the ammunition could be um, passed straight from the limber to the breech, nice efficient way. But I say, after 32 rounds, they'll have to come back and either replenish the, uh, the limbers or bring new limbers in. Now, buying a gun is not simply pulling a handle. It is very much a mathematical uh, and scientific uh, uh, method. The mathematics involved the surveying of the guns onto a map, also relying on your forward observer, who will be ob observing the enemy. Uh, telephone wire or messages back to the gun position officer giving him the surveying enemy positions. That's plotted on the table uh, out to uh, the back there with the gun position officer. We'll be calling back the forward of shot. Too far, too, too short, too left, too right. And corrections will, will be made on the plotting table and then the corrections back to the guns. Over five miles, of course, the projectile as it flies through the air will be affected by the wind. So again, a correction due to wind speed is put into the calculation. And the humidity and temperature of the uh, environment where the guns are firing is also going to affect the propellants in the cartridges by as far or by further. And these all have to be corrected. So again, a lot of work is being done uh, in plotting and calculating all these things. Those are now getting ready and I can hear the orders. Uh, you probably can hear the orders being shouted out. And they're getting the uh, cartridges ready for loading. Now, for obvious reasons, um, yesterday when we fired the guns, uh, Woody didn't enjoy the uh, uh, battle. Did you hear that? <laughs> the order for cease firing, I think, has been given. Let's have a round of applause, please, for the Royal Artillery Historical Display.